everyone. Realtor Mike Thomas here uh, from Palm Beach County, Florida. <clears throat> I am talking to you today about five counties and what the market report looks like in those five counties. So let's get started. This is a, a great opportunity to look at all the counties, see whether the market is really going up or down or staying stagnant. So here we have uh, Broward County on our screen here. And Broward County is uh, currently the medium. I look at the medium home sale prices. Um, and that is 565,000. Um, that is 13.1% up over last year. Last year, it was only 499,450. Uh, at this time in September, we are in the month of September, 2022. And that is for single family homes in Broward County. So compared to last year, we're up 13.1% in single family home prices. Uh, if you look at inventory right here, it does take a little longer to sell, 2.7 months. Last year, they were selling about in a month and a half. Now it's taking more than two and a half months to sell. But uh, prices are higher, and that's probably why it's taking a little longer to sell. So what we're looking at now is condominiums and townhouses. Now, condominium and townhouses are up uh, to 265000 from uh 213,000 over last year. That's up 24, almost 24 and a half percent. That is totally, totally amazing uh, increase over last year. Is it taking a little bit longer to sell? Yes, uh, 0.2 months. So we're talking maybe another four or five days to sell, but they are getting their prices uh, in Broward County and the market seems to be strong there. So I have a spreadsheet that I've been doing. Uh, of course, this is Jupiter. Let's go to Broward, Broward County here. And it shows that in the beginning of the year, Broward County, single family homes were selling medium price at 500,000. Now they're 565. And that's up $65,000 since the beginning of the year, which is a very nice re return on your investment. Now, uh, if you were owning a townhouse or condo, you were paying to 240000 in January for that uh, condo. The median price of a condo is uh, two sixty-five, dollars so that's a uh, $25,000 increase for a townhouse or condominium, which is also a very good return on your investment. Uh, there are no big drops here. It looks like it's staying steady and level. This also looks steady and level, and so I don't know why people are saying that the market is falling or crashing. You know, is it, is it not? It looks pretty stable to me. And uh, just for Broward County. So let's take a look at some of the other counties. We have Palm Beach County. And here in Palm Beach County, the average price of a home now is 580000 Last year in September um, 2021, it was 469900 So let's say 470 that's a 23.4% increase over last year. That doesn't look like the market is falling in Palm Beach County. Is it taking a little longer to sell houses? Yeah, it's taking about twice as long to sell a house. Um, but with the higher prices, that's kind of expected. As far as um, townhouses and condominiums, we are at uh, $290,000 for medium sales price over last year to forty six five, which is also a 17% increase over last year. And again, taking about twice as long to sell. So <clears throat> what does that mean? Well, let's take a look at the graph that we have. If you bought a home in January here in Palm Beach County, the average medium price of a home was 200 or $526,500. Today, the Average medium sales price is 580000 So we are looking at about a $50,000, $60,000 increase for a single family home since the beginning of the year, and the year is not over with yet. So we have three more months to go, uh, October, November, December. Uh, if we look at the graph, there are no big, huge spikes or drops in here. It looks pretty level for townhouses and condominium market. Uh, in townhouses as well, we're looking at 290, uh, 246, 5, 17% increase. Uh, it looks very, very solid to me.
Martin County up next. Martin County has jumped quite dramatically, uh, 551,000 uh, for a single family home today, median sales price. Over last year, September 2021, 455,000, which is a 21.1% increase over last year this time. Uh, nice return on your investment. Uh, it is taking more than twice as long to sell the house. However, they are asking for a lot more money. Uh, what, almost $100,000 more in Martin County for a single family home. Townhouses, condominium, we're almost at 300,000 here, 299 for medium sales price over last year, which was 236,450, which is an increase of 26.5% over last year, September, 2021. So that looks pretty good. It is taking longer to sell, um, about two and a half times longer to sell. But again, with higher prices, it's gonna take a little longer to sell um, the home. And let's take a look at Martin County here. Um, in the beginning of the year, uh, 523,175 was the medium sales price of a home. Uh, in September, it's 550. So we are talking a, what, 20, $5,000 increase uh, in a single family home, not bad. It has gone up and down a little bit and bounced around a little bit. But if you took this peak out, it would be kind of a steady eddy market right now. So it's had some peaks, but it still looks good. It's not dramatically declining. Now, if this came down for another month or two months, then I'd seriously be worried. But since the townhouse and condominium market seems to be very steady and stable, I'm not that worried about it. Because in January, $250,000 was the average median price of a, sale of, a, of a townhouse or condominium. Today, it's up $50,000, nearly $50,000. So good return on your investment if you bought then. And that's what the market is going in Martin County. In St. Lucie County, the average sales price uh, today is nearly close to 400,000, 392,590. Last year at this time, September, again, 2021, it was 330,000, which is a 19% increase over September of last year. Uh, it is taking more than twice as long to sell a home. However, it is expected with higher sales prices again. Um, so Port St. Lucie County is doing quite well. Um, medium sales price of a home of a townhouse or condominium was 275. Last year, this time, September 2021, it was 247,000, uh, which is an 11.3% increase. So let's take a look at our chart year to date, Port St. Lucie. If you bought a home in January, uh, you probably paid 351,000 medium sales price of a home. It is approaching nearly 400,000. So you're seeing more of a um, 45 plus, 45,000 plus return on your investment if you bought in January over a nine month period time. Uh, townhouses and condominiums were at 255, they're 275, so that's a $20,000 increase since January. And if you look at the charts here, they're not spiking or dropping, they are just moving along as normal. So, here in our backyard, uh, southeast Florida, uh, the market is very steady and is continuing to be that way. So, let's take a look at Miami. Miami is always the the county that is different. But right now we have two hundred or $568,000 for an average price of a home in Miami-Dade County. Um, over last year, September 2021, we were looking at 485000 which is a 17.1% increase over last year. And uh, townhouses and condominiums, nearly $400,000 now, 395. Uh, 330 last year, 2021, September, which is also about a 19% increase over last year. That's a 20% increase over last year. And I don't know where you can put your money to get that kind of rate, rate of return on your investment. 
If we looked at Miami-Dade County, it still looks has pretty steady, not very many spikes or drops. So to those people out there who are telling people the doom and gloom about real estate, the real estate market is falling and dying and you know collapsing and all kinds of stuff, um, I always ask the question, is the real estate market uh, crashing? And in my backyard, the answer is no. I don't know how it is around the rest of the country, but real estate is very localized. In my own backyard, I live in Jupiter, Florida. The average sales price in Jupiter, Florida in 2022, medium sales price is 858,250, which is actually a 42, almost 43% increase uh, over last year. And townhouses and condominiums um, is now uh, 604,000, which is a 53% increase. Uh, so Jupiter is in very high demand. People love Jupiter. And I do have a little thing here in Jupiter. Um, so Jupiter here is kind of an oddball. It does go kind of up and down and choppy. But if you look at it, it is still right in the range of between 800 and a million dollars per home, a single family. And it's between 400 and $600,000 for a townhouse or condominium. So that is the market report for Southeast Florida in our backyard here. I think that um, with this information, a lot of people are trying to scare people out there thinking that the market is crashing, collapsing, or whatever they want to call it. With these numbers that I'm looking at, I don't think so. Now, market crash does happen approximately every 15 years, give or take, you know, uh, three to five years on that depends on you know what the interest rates do and how they try to stabilize stuff. And if they have adjustable rate mortgages, which is what killed our market the last time, adjustable rate mortgages put people in homes that they could not afford. And when the interest rates climbed up to be a higher price, they were unable to refinance the home uh, into a decent interest rate and ended up losing their homes in 2007, 2008. And that was, uh, in my mind, uh, the big collapse of the real estate market. I don't think that's happening anytime soon, but we are approaching the 15, 18 year mark. Uh, I don't think that the real estate market is collapsing this year because it normally uh, collapses or is announced a collapse on Halloween of all days. So October 31st is when they always come down and say, yep, uh, the market has collapsed. Now the stock market may be down and collapsing, but what, is happening for most people is they're pulling their money out of the stock market and investing it in something more tangible like real estate. Uh, and that is my market report. I am Realtor Mike Thomas from Palm Beach County, Florida. And until tomorrow, until I post my next video, have a wonderful day.